Git demonstrated how decentralized systems could be done right and work radically better than centralized ones. A lot of people didn't believe that distributed systems could be used effectively in companies with big code bases and rigid hierarchies, but Git disproved that. And this point helped pave the way for the ecosystems of decentralized technologies we have today. I've, like, ever heard of blockchain before? Majorly decentralized. And Mastodon and the Fediverse is essentially a decentralized social network. Decentralization wasn't the only interesting feature of Git. One of the most interesting and profound lessons I think we should keep in mind when developing technology is that the specifics of how something is implemented technically can shape the cultures and systems where this technology is used. Git is the perfect example to see this phenomenon in practice. Its technical implementation prioritizes speed and easy branching. This meant that developers no longer needed to perfect their code before a commit since they're just committing to their own copy of the code, the branch. This had the cultural effect of encouraging more small commits with more descriptive messages, and made random experimental features way easier to play around with. Branches can also help reduce the cognitive load of working on such a massive project with your tiny human brain. You can just pay attention to the few branches you care about and ignore the rest. And that is such an essential idea when considering the massive, complex technologies that we've built over the past few decades.